I think it's finally safe to say that we put this fucking Krusty the Clown, Caesar Clown, down for good. This episode of One Piece, first of all, I want to talk about a specific scene in particular. It was with Law and Virgo, and Virgo's there, you know, on the floor. And they added in a filler scene, which I definitely say, again, they did this, I remember, in Fishman Island, and it was just really unnecessary, and it just kind of slightly takes away from the impact of the prior episode, because in the prior episode, he cuts him in half, and in the manga, that's it, he's cut in half, and then the next time we see Virgo, he's just a head there on the rails, and that's it. But with this episode, they put it that it was like on some Frieza uh, versus Goku type of shit where he's a half body there and then he tries to lunge at Law and that's probably where they got the inspiration to do that little filler bit but it wasn't necessary and I definitely feel like it took away from the impact of last week's you know just demolishing attack that Law did on Virgo so definitely I, I don't know what was their mind frame on that was it just to add more time to make it like give it I don't know more oomph or something. I don't know what they were really going for, but definitely I felt as though that wasn't needed. Uh, they did add uh, the rest of the bits with, you know, them two and whatnot and how he cuts his head in half, so that was some, you know, vicious shit, but I was just wondering what the hell was their mind frame when they did that, having Virgo get up one more time and jump at him. Like, it wasn't really necessary, and then it was off-camera handled. At least if you're gonna do that, have it on cam where, you know, Law just puts him down one last time. You know, just saying. But that was mainly one of I guess you would say my gripes with the episode. Because for the most part, it was a pretty decent episode. The animation of Luffy versus Caesar in his ultimate form was actually looking pretty good when Luffy was coming at him. It was looking nice to paint. Everything about that was actually looking pretty flawless. So it was some good stuff in this episode. Definitely got to say that. But uh, they added a lot of those bits once again with the kids saying, I can't run anymore. And that feels like, I guess, already a running uh, problem with this arc overall. So, you know, there's nothing you can do about it at this point. But definitely they had a lot of those bits in there. And then they had a lot of bits with Usopp talking though he did have that inspirational speech so and they handled that pretty nice as well the voice actor always does a great job with Usopp so the speech was pretty awesome and stuff like that but definitely it was like in the middle of Luffy versus Caesar which they were dragging that out as well Caesar kept on talking it was literally like him standing like this for loads and loads of time just like ready to attack and then like well I'm gonna talk a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more so they definitely dragged that out a bit as well and again that's pretty much Par for the core, uh, par for the course with One Piece at this point. So nothing you could do about that as well. But nonetheless, that was probably some of the main problems I would say with the episode because overall it was cool. You know, you got more fighting, you got more action, and you know, again, you have you know the climax of this arc because it seems as though finally Caesar Clown has been defeated by Luffy. He knocked his shit out, and in an epic way, Gear Third versus him, and that was definitely reminiscent as well that battle to the battle between Luffy versus Gecko Moria. Gecko Moria is you know looking tremendously crazy, and then Luffy comes. That definitely reminded me of that battle. But overall, I felt like it was a pretty good episode. It wasn't nowhere near as climactic as last week's episode. And it definitely, I felt like, had some setbacks to it. Mainly, one of the big things is, like, it takes away from the epicness of Law's one strike when you have Virgo there ready to charge at him again, even though he's a half-body. So, that was one of the gripes with the episode. And, of course, again, a lot of dragged-out bits, throwing shit in there just to, you know, stretch out the time. So, um, those were the problems with the episode. But as a whole, I, I felt like it was still a pretty good episode uh, Decent follow-up to last week's episode and a good climax to the fights between Luffy and Caesar Clown. Finally, Caesar Clown going all out and he got his shit kicked in. So there's no more doubts about it. He went all in and it was done. So I say um they handled it pretty decently. Could have been better. Give this one a 7 out of 10. Hopefully next week's episode we get some more big shit because I know there's some pretty interesting stuff to come. I will give you that spoiler alert. There's some pretty interesting stuff coming after this arc. But for right now, I'll definitely say good episode. And I enjoyed it for the most part. I feel like uh, the fighting and the action between Luffy and Caesar was intense, and of course, Luffy's voice actress as well, going in with them screams. Me, personally, a lot of people get annoyed with them. I love it when they scream like that, because you feel the intensity and the emotion in their voice when they're going all in, yelling, so good shit on that as well. Let me know what you think, first of all, what do you think about that filler bit in the beginning with Virgo lunging at Law one last time? Do you think that it was necessary? Did it take away from the impact for you? And as a whole, do you think that they did justice to the final clash between Luffy and Caesar Clown? Let me know in the comment section below and your world thoughts on this episode. Again, good 7 out of 10. But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for that fucking final class. Luffy kicking that Caesar ass. Because it was damn sure long awaited. I'm for that world. And as always, people, have an awesome day.